All right, so let's start with the basics of KidBlog. Uh, we're going to start here in the dashboard. Um, this is where you first come to when you log in. This is basically your control panel. Uh, what I really want to show you in this spot is this area right here. Um, it's really helpful in the dashboard. What they do is they put a link here to all your published posts, all your pending posts, and also the same for the comments. Um, and that's a really quick and easy way to see how many you have waiting, how many that are pending, and you can even click right on them to go and approve them as you need to. It also tells you here how much space you've used I don't, and how much you have still left available, which is helpful. I'm going to go on down the line here and show you all these tabs just to make sure you understand what each of them are. Write new posts, we did that in the last video, we'll come back to that in a minute. Review posts lets you get in here, edit a post, trash it, preview it, um, or publish it, or approve it. Same thing with the comments, if your kids have a bunch of comments, this is a quick and easy way to come in here and approve the comments. It will give you a preview, it will show you the comment so you don't have to click on it. You just have to click it and hit approve or unapprove. And this is the users tab. We talked about this in the first video. You can add users and edit your users here. And last but not least, the settings tab. And I do want to show you something on the settings tab. These privacy settings. When you first start your kid blog, the privacy settings will be set like this. Um, I would suggest you change this. Um, the way I set it up is I click on all visitors so that anyone that comes can read the students posts and I also make sure I take this checkbox and mark it in there because you want to make sure that you approve each post before they appear that way if students are getting online at home and they're posting things it still won't be published until you've moderated it and you've also got uh, the same thing with your comments I do um, suggest that you have all visitors comment but then again that you have to approve the comments before they appear make sure you hit save changes when you've got those set up correctly and you're good to go alright I want to show you a little bit about uh, writing a new post and some of the more uh, basics in there um, here you want to make sure you get your new post in we talked a little bit before about how to put the content in that is very easy and simple but I want to show you these buttons here these are your add media buttons. You can add images, videos, audio, or other files. So, to add an image, it's real simple. Click on the button. You can pull it straight from a URL, give it a caption, or you can pick it up from your computer. Click on there, go to select files, and in here you can choose whatever pictures you've got. I'll grab this one, and she cute. Alright, uh, then whenever you got your picture uploaded, you can again put in a caption and you can tell it where you want it to align. I'm going to put this one on the right and then insert it into the post. It's just that simple. Um, for the other buttons, it's just as simple, although I will say if you're going to add video, I definitely would encourage you to upload your videos to an actual video site like Vimeo or YouTube and then paste the URL right into here and then that will give the, that will embed the video into this post the reason I say that is because if you start adding videos to your blogs uh, video files are too big and it will eat up your space very quickly so if you're doing videos I would upload them to YouTube or Vimeo and then link from there you can also add audio and you can add other media like if you wanted to add a word document you can add it right here and it would be embedded right into the blog Alright, so that's the basics of posting. Make sure whenever you're over here that if your kids need to, they can save as often as possible. When you hit that, it also gives you a revision spot here. So if they get further down the line, uh, down the line they can click back here, back to a previous version, which is helpful. And make sure they remember how to publish. Alright, so that's the basics of Kid Blog. How to set it up, get those settings right, and how to do some of the simple things in the ad media. What I'll do in the next video is we'll talk about a little bit beyond the basics where we'll talk about how to find your unique art URL, how to link some things up, how to bulk create users, and I want to give you some info on how to try to expand uh, the amount of space you're given. So that'll be in Beyond the Basics. Mm -hmm.